am making my oats now. I had one client at seven, seven till eight, and then all morning just been working on my online coaching. Oats are going in, so I'm gonna show you how I make those. And then we're gonna go train at Dynamite. It's gonna be an upper body day today. Um, lower tomorrow, even though my legs are battered. So I am implementing oats into my diet again. So when I was in my peak gaining phase, I struggled to keep them down really. Um, I used to properly struggle to actually enjoy them. It got to the point where I was literally eating them and I was almost, you know, I felt like I was gonna be sick eating my oats. So I took them out, I think that was primarily due to the fact I was just on so high calories. Now that I'm back into the gaining phase or just starting off with the gaining phase again, I'm implementing oats back in as my pre-workout and also potentially pre-bed. Okay, hold the montage, hold, hold the montage right there. Sorry to interrupt, but this just came in the most perfect timing ever. Here we go. Come on. Help! So, I've got yummy sports. Oh, that's not what I fucking ordered. I ordered Nutella's. I don't know if that's the right one. So that's the one I ordered. Um, but that's the one I've got. <sighs> no, God! No, God, please, no! 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 I'm gonna have it anyway, because I can't be asked with sending shit back. Um, it's got really good macros. So per 30 grams, you've got 0.5 gram of fat, zero of which saturates, 0.5 gram of carbs, no sugars, and 27 grams of protein in a 30 gram scoop. Sorry, I'm interrupting it again. Intra workout, 50 grams ultra carb, 15 grams of the raised burn pre-workout, and then five grams of creatine, which is in this bag because I had to take the actual bag to Egypt because apparently otherwise I'd have got stopped for it being cocaine. Okay, there you have it. That's the kind of consistency that I like. Lovely. So, get this down. Uh, I'll do some more work and then it's time to go and train. Right, let's see how it is. This hazelnut crunch or whatever it was. Right, but I bet the Nutella one's better. I've not even tried it, I just want to try it. Um, but yeah, this will do. Okay, so about an hour and a half has gone now uh, since I had my oats. I'm trying to give myself around 60 to 90 minutes to actually digest my food before I go and train because before I went away I was just smashing food and then going and training. So see if that's more beneficial to me um, to have a little bit of a longer window before uh, between my pre-workout and training. Um, so I got everything ready and time to go and train now. Hi guys, welcome to the voiceover. This workout is actually from a while ago. Okay, so I filmed this not long after Egypt, um, and now it's literally, it'll be what, August the 8th? So this will probably go out on August the 8th, or August the 9th that I put this video out. Um, so I'm in real time, this video is in old time. Uh, I don't do uh, upper lower split, I did that while I was away, so obviously this is an upper workout. I'm not doing that anymore. I've got pull, push, legs off, as my split at the minute. Um, so obviously this upper body workout was, was class to be fair, like I, I'm showing wrong form here by the way. Um, yeah, the upper body workouts were great. And um, the reason that I've, I've switched from that 
is, is literally because the only reason I went to that is, is to get uh, more in over um, a shorter period of time, basically on holiday. So when I was on holiday, I thought, you know, what I can do rather than a, a pull push leg is I can do an upper lower. Um, and then I quite liked it on holiday, so I implemented it a little bit when I was back, but we're back to the pull push legs now. Um, currently sitting at 175 pounds around there. Um, calories on a training day are at 3750 and on a non-training day at 3450, so 300 calories less on a non-training day. Cardio on a non-training day at 30 minutes, um, 30 minutes at 70% max heart rate, and steps are 10 to 12K uh, every single day. So that's where I'm sat at the minute. Goal is just to keep gaining um, and keep progressing in the sessions as much as possible. Thought I'd go through a quick update while the session is rolling in the background. Upper body workout done, really successful, I really enjoyed that. Best session I've had in quite a while to be fair. So, I'm back from the cutting of the hair. Anyone in the Loughborough area Go and see my my guy Dario at the Gate Barbers or Hadley who works there as well, they're really good. Um, 15 quid, skin fade, that's what I get. And bang on every time. So it's been a good 45 minutes since my session now after my haircut um, and walking to and from there. Um, so heart rate's come down. Uh, hopefully I've switched from that sympathetic state to the parasympathetic state and now time to have my post-workout meal. So for post-workout, we've got the Skia protein yogurt, Aldi protein granola, some honey and some raspberries. And then I've got one of the Aldi hot cross buns, which are really, really good. And just some low sugar jam on there as well, which is from Tesco. Uh, so I'm gonna have this and then Shannon should be home any minute. Um, and then we're gonna make the most of the weather because it's red hot. Um, I think I want an ice cream. Kinder Bueno, please. Yes. Um, the Oreo, please. And the salted peanut butter as well, please. Sunny's street food. What's this called? Number 27. Number 27, we got Pong Chong Flang Milan, satay chicken, some complimentary Quan Quaka. I'm watching the best film in the world. A lovely evening. Eh? Ah. Wow. What did you reckon? Never ceases to me. Spicy. <laughs> cologne you it was spicy. With? We said less spicy Lovely and it was still a bit spicy. Wait, but we're a bit we're wimps, aren't we? Like we're we're just like, yeah. Yeah. It was okay. 
Nothing to write home about. A little bit tasteless. Yeah, the chicken wasn't tasty. Yep, it's made with bits of real paper. I wouldn't recommend it, but... So you know it's good. It's quite pungent. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't recommend it, but it wasn't oh, like eating oh, shit. Oh, but this is nice. This is my favourite. This is number one for fizzy number drinks. One. Zero yeah. calorie. Like you are not, we're not counting monster. Alright, let's go! Vanilla Coke is number two. And Fanta Fruit Twist. Zero calories, number three. Oh, I hate checkups. Are you ready to go shopping? Step inside a very special supermarket. The only supermarket in the world that gives you money. £2,000 is waiting on our shelves to be won by some lucky person in this store. The aim of the game is to shop smarter and faster than the next person. And everything in this supermarket is...